The information in this video is based on my own personal research from available public sources. I am not a medical practitioner and this is not meant to be medical advice. The video you are about to watch on the topic of Cologuard colorectal cancer screening test is part of a comprehensive, in-depth, and educational video that I did that everyone should watch on your colon health, polyps and colon cancer, and colon cancer screening choices. Based on my research of all the recommended screening tests, I chose Cologuard, and I am recommending it to you. Learn all about Cologuard and why I chose it by watching this video. I hope you find this segment helpful and informative, and I hope you will go and watch the entire in-depth video as well. You can find the link to that video below in the description box, above in the cards, and at the end of this video. You will learn so much. Cologuard is the latest advancement in colorectal screening tests. It's a non-invasive test. It's very effective and it's recommended by the United States Preventative Services Task Force. It was just FDA approved in 2014 um, as a screening test for people 50 years of age and over in the United States. It's not available elsewhere yet as far as I know. It uses a multi-targeted approach to detecting colon cancer. It is a fit test, like I just described to you, which looks for hemoglobin in the stool. And it's also a DNA test that looks for DNA mutations um, from the shedding of cells into your stool that could signify that you have precancer or cancer. So it detects precancer as well as cancer and it detects blood. Now it's a little bit more expensive than the fit test which is $20. This is around $500 but it is covered by insurance and Medicare. Uh, most insurance companies and Medicare. You do need a prescription for it so you have to ask your doctor for it and then he has to order it and then the test will be shipped directly to your home. There is um, no preparation that's needed. You don't have to have a special diet, nothing. It's just one stool sample that you have to give them, and um, I'll show you in a second what it all looks like. It's very, very simple. There's a 24-7, 800 number that you can call for any assistance, any help, any questions. They are super nice and very helpful. Okay, so this test will detect 92% of colon cancers and 94% of stage 1 and stage 2 cancers, so precancers, and that can save lives. And the beauty about this test, which for me was I found superior over the others, is that it can detect 42% of those right side cancers that I told you about that are very hard to see in colonoscopy, that are difficult to detect if they don't bleed, but this can pick it up. Why? Remember I told you earlier that your large intestine, your colon, is always shedding cells. Well, it's also shedding those abnormal cells as well. Those abnormal cells get collected in your stool as it passes on by, and this test will detect those cells very easily. Cellular exfoliation of DNA into the stool occurs continuously. Cologuard is designed to analyze stool for the presence of 11 molecular biomarkers, including hemoglobin and DNA markers, which may indicate the presence of colorectal cancer or advanced adenomas. The multi-target stool DNA test is able to detect serrated class lesions due to the inclusion of hypermethylation markers in the DNA panel. And that, for me, was the big winner. Finally, we have a test that can detect sessile serrated polyps of the right side of the colon. And that sealed the deal for me. Now, in a head-to-head -head competition, it beat out the FIT test. This, the Cologuard test was better in sensitivity for detecting colon cancer uh, than the FIT test was. It performed better. And I'm going, to, I show, I'm going to show you in a chart that I made myself that shows all of the sensitivity and um, I compared all of the different um, screening methods to each other so that you can see in percentages um, how reliable they are and which ones that you think you might want to go with. For me, it was a hands down, no question, I liked this test. I like the fact that it could screen the entire colon, that it's, it's going to screen for precancer and for colon cancer and for blood. 
it's the single best one-time test that's available to the population. If you take the Cologuard test and you get a negative result, you can be 99.94% assured that you do not have colon cancer. And you can be 94.79% assured that you do not have an advanced adenoma or precancer. Those are fantastic odds. So if you take this test once and you get a negative, they tell you you're fine, you can take the test again in three years. Each time you get a negative, you can extrapolate out that you are not going to have to worry about having colon cancer. If you get three readings within 10 years, then you know, you're know you set well into the future. Okay. Now the way they determined how successful Cologuard was is they had a really large clinical study done, about 12,800 people in the study. And they had them take the Cologuard test and then have a colonoscopy. And that's how they determined uh, how correct the Cologuard test was for detecting cancer. Um, for me to know that a test was p picking up specific DNA biomarkers meant something to me um, compared to taking a risk with someone seeing something. You know what I mean? Like I felt that somebody could miss something um, and I felt like this could be my first line of screening. Why not have this first? It's non-invasive. Isn't it supposed to be that as medicine advances into the future that they find better ways um, to screen the population, to treat people, less invasive ways, less ways for discomfort and ways of um, bleeding and things like that. Well, this test found a better way to screen, better than the FIT test, better than the FOB test, and it's non-invasive. And if you get a positive test, then you'll have to have further screening to investigate. And Cologuard recommends um, a colonoscopy uh, for, for screening after you, if you have a positive finding. The United States Preventative Services Task Force recommends that as well. And I have an even more impressive study to share with you about Cologuard that was published after Cologuard received FDA approval. It was a smaller study than the 10,000 people study that I just told you about. It was conducted on 661 Alaskan natives between the years 2012 and 2014. Alaskan people have twice the rate of colorectal cancer compared to the rest of the United States. It's the most frequently diagnosed cancer among Alaskan natives. The study found that Cologuard detected 100% or 10 out of 10 of colorectal cancers. And some more impressive results from that study Cologuard also detected 67% of sessil serrated polyps, larger than one centimeter. Those are the ones that are on the right side of the colon, typically. So I was very excited to share this test with you. I think it's an excellent non-invasive alternative to a colonoscopy. Um, so let me show you what it looks like and uh, give you a feel for what's involved. So here's what you can expect. It comes directly um, from the company, which is Exact Sciences. It comes in this box and it comes UPS right to your door. And we're just going to open it up and it comes with labels for you to place on your samples. There are instructions on how to return your kit and a patient guide that has all the instructions that you'll need to take the test. The patient guide contains a diagram of all of the things that you receive in the kit to take the test. It also explains step by step with pictures and drawings everything you need to do to take the test. So let's take a quick look and I'll show you what it comes with inside. So this is what it looks like um, and the first thing they have on the top is a bracket and this bracket fits over your toilet seat and you place this container into that bracket and you go to the bathroom into this container and they say to try not to get urine in the container and then you use this tube here to collect a sample from the stool that you made into the container and this is the fluid that you'll pour into this container in order to preserve the stool sample the instructions are very clear and easy to follow step by step with pictures and drawings so that you cannot make a mistake. 
So just to be clear, you'll have two separate samples that the company will be receiving. You'll have the main stool sample, which will be in the bowl, that you're going to cover with fluid and seal. But before you do that, you're going to scrape off some of that stool and place it into the tube and seal that. So you'll have two samples going back, the bowl and the tube. One sample will be used for the fit test screening, and the other will be used for the DNA marker tests. If you want to see step by step exactly what you need to do to take the test, I found a great video for you on YouTube. It's called How to Use Cologuard, and I'm going to link it below in the description box so that you can take a look at it if you want to see exactly how it's done. I'm also going to include a link to Cologuard's website if you'd like more information. Um, they tell you to leave this bag. This plastic bag should stay in the box. You're going to use this whole box to send your sample back. The free return label is located right underneath the old label. You just take it off and underneath you have the label to send it back. You just drop it off at UPS right away. You want to do your test during the week because the test does have to get to the lab within uh, three days. So they want a fresh sample, otherwise the sample will expire. You don't want that to happen. So plan it for, you know, during the week when you can have your test get right over to that UPS office and drop it off. And another thing that they stressed was not to worry about your DNA sample. They're destroyed after the test is done. So nobody is saving DNA samples there. So if you have any concern about that, you don't have to be concerned. They strictly use it for the test and then it is destroyed. The results of your Cologuard test will typically be delivered to your health care provider within two weeks of the lab receiving the sample. Now Cologuard is not recommended for people in the high risk category. If you have hereditary risks involved with getting colon cancer or you have irritable bowel diseases like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, then they recommend that you, uh, that you go with um, what your doctor says, which is probably a colonoscopy, uh, not a screening test like Cologuard. But I just want to say that in my reading, I did come across information and studies and research that said that very often it's very difficult for an endoscopist to perform a colonoscopy on someone that has a very inflamed bowel with um, ulcerative colitis or with Crohn's disease, that there's often, you know, hundreds and hundreds of, of, of polyps or inflammation, scars from the healing, and it can be very difficult. So perhaps in the future they will consider having for someone of that nature because, um, you know, if there are cancerous uh, cells being shed, um, maybe this test will be able to detect them. In my personal opinion, I don't see why not but they're not recommending it uh, for that population as of right now. So it is really only being recommended as a screening test and uh, not for high-risk individuals. Now the things that can affect the test uh, and increase your rate of false positives, um, you have to be very careful not to have any blood on your hands, no hemorrhoids, uh, or rectal bleeding, or fissures, or anything else going on because it will pick up blood from like any of those kinds of things. You can't have your period, nothing like that. So you have to be careful when you handle it because you know, you know, user problems can affect a test too, which um, you have to be aware of. And they state that right in the instructions for you. Cologuard has a false positive rate of 10%, which is higher than the 5% with the FIT test. This means that there's a 10% chance that a person that does not have colorectal cancer will test positive with the Cologuard test and thus will need to have a colonoscopy to follow up. Since the false positive rate is based on follow-up examination by a colonoscopy, I couldn't help wondering if the difference in false positives between Cologuard and the FIT test might be attributed at least in part to the fact that the follow-up colonoscopies may have simply not been able to see a cancer or a precancer because it was a right side lesion, or it was a serrated or flat lesion, which we know are easy to miss. And because they are less likely to bleed, the fit test would not have picked them up. You can decide what you think. So if you would like to have a non-invasive test 
to screen for colon cancer that protects your gut biome and your mucosa and is highly sensitive to detecting cancer and precancer, then I think Cologuard is an excellent choice. It's the latest technology and it combines the FIT test with the DNA test, so you're getting them all in one test. And here is a chart that I put together for you so that you can compare all of the screening methods that are available to you and how effective they are by percentages. It shows the accurateness of each test's ability to detect colon cancer and precancerous adenomas. Please keep in mind when comparing these tests that there were no randomized controlled trials to prove the accuracy of the colonoscopy number. The 95% accuracy number that you see in the chart is based on cohort studies and case control studies, which can contain bias. These types of studies are not considered to be as reliable as randomized controlled trials. They are observational studies, and randomized controlled trials are carefully planned experiments. They are also using indirect evidence from the randomized controlled trials done of sigmoidoscopy and the fecal occult blood test to help support the accuracy of the colonoscopy number. Please follow the link now to watch my entire full-length video on your colon health, colon cancer, and the colon cancer screening choices that are available to you. And please subscribe and check out some of my other helpful videos. And remember to click that bell so you'll be notified when I upload.